Hey y'all, uh, hey y'all, uh, hey y'all. Uh. Welcome back to another Dots View. And coming to y'all tonight with the question. Should police be policed? Now we didn't had a lot of cases and occasions where we didn't have police abuse their power. We didn't have police abuse their authority. We didn't have them also abuse the surroundings in order to work in their favor, you know, as in let's say store owners they may know a few store owners personally or they may know a certain individual in the neighborhood that might be a ci or something like that you know so they got an environmental hookup and my answer to that question is some of them do not all police need to be police because all police ain't the same like you got some some real good officers out here man that take care of they they business um abide by the law and do everything how they're supposed to do then you got the other ones that like to go out there and make all the other ones look bad because they doing what they're not supposed to be doing. Such in the case of Tamir Rice. Then you have um, the new cases of Amir. Uh, what's my man? I think it was Dear Amir. I think Amir or Dear. Let me. I'm sorry about that. Let me not get his name wrong. Uh, Aubrey. Aubrey, the Aubrey um, gentleman. Let me get his name right. Let me go ahead and uh, Aubrey Abrams. Okay, there he is. So uh, the newer case of the Aubrey Abrams guy, um, rest his soul. But how you seen them two vicious people ran and gunned him down while somebody was filming? That is where that's not um policing that's nothing that has nothing to do with policing but i wanted to bring that into light because it's still that has something to do with the two because the da and some other people that was working on a case knew the man um i think his name is michael i'm not sure about the dude who shot um aubrey um the son I think his son, I forgot what the son, I think the son might be named Michael or the father, whoever the father is, he is linked to a few, a hate group. So with that, you had to deal with that. Then the, one of the, I think detective that was on the case is real good friends with the dad, which made it a conflict of interest on both ends because the chief basically knew them as well and um his son worked with the other man's son in the da's office so basically they had a connection right there and that's conflict of interest you can't have no case where somebody uh, got killed and you know that person personally the reason that they do it that way is because if you go into a case let's say your brother or sister murdered somebody you go into that case you're the prosecuting attorney you're basically, I say, you have been picked to defend your siblings. That's going to be a conflict of interest. Conflict of interest is you're going to go harder to make sure that your brother or sister is free. And you might even throw a monkey wrench in there to mess everything up to make sure they go free. So with that being a conflict of interest, they'll get somebody else for the case. Now, back to that. After, after all that was found out, they was like, you know what? Well, we can't, we can't have y'all on this case. And that's when um, matters got took a step higher and they had to go over the heads of those two individuals. And that's when the arrest came down for the, the gentleman that uh, murdered Aubrey Abrams. And with that, yes, those type of police should be policed. But there's no way that you should have two friends on the law enforcement that are closely connected with the two people that are killers then on the other hand two people that are not only killers they are in certain hate groups so that means those two police officers or those two law authorities are linked to certain hate groups now you got that combined with them having somebody that they knew personally murder somebody else then with the made up theory that it was robberies going on in the area. Come to find out, it was not one robbery in that area. Then, at that specific time that they were mentioning, 
It might have been some in the past, but not at that point in time. Then they not only ran this man down like he was some type of animal, but they didn't, I don't think they announced themselves. They didn't ask him no questions. They were just running him down to try to, you know what I'm saying, beat on him because in the climate that we, we got right now with the, the president that we got sitting in the White House right now, to him, he basically gave the signal to all of these other folks that it's a go. It's a go with anybody that ain't yours. If it ain't you and yours, it's a go. You can do whatever you want to. And as you can see, he letting everybody that did anything crooked out of jail left and right. So the people that are doing this are confident that this man is going to have a back and let him back out again. So they keep doing the same thing until somebody take care of him. And that's what's going to have to happen. I think not. I hope it doesn't, but it's going to be a situation where somebody is not going to be in the right state of mind and they're not going to be in the right emotional state either. And it's going to go down. So to me, I'm not, I don't preach violence and I'm most definitely not preaching no violence against no law authority or nobody else. But it's a lot of people that don't think as straight as I do or as, as straight as you do. So you have to take that into consideration as well and play your cards like that. Cause if you don't, then you're going to turn around and end up unfortunately like some of these people. So my whole thing about the policing, uh, police being policed is that it should be, and I know they got internal affairs, internal affairs, um, within the police sector and all of that, but the internal affairs only does anything or says anything when too much stuff started getting into the public, like the RB Abrams video. I'm pretty sure as soon as that video got out and as soon as those two cops had got, basically as soon as those two law authorities were linked to the two killers, I probably came in there and shut that whole thing down. No, you, you, you guys are off of this case a hundred percent. If we even hear about you, you're gone. So they took over the case and that's why prosecution is happening. So what's the answer? The police be policed. Some crooked cops should be policed and they should be policed by their own kind. Why do I think they should be policed by their own kind? It's because it's, it's the ultimate irony. Everything that you're doing to other people, them people that's been walking next to you every single day. Now they got the authority to do the same thing to you that you've been doing to everybody else. The almost the same way that you've been doing it. Not saying that they're going to do that because I'm pretty sure it's a lot of them out there that, that's got honor and they wouldn't do that. So I think it needs to be a special collection of like, let's say like it need to be a head. You know what I'm saying? It need to be a body, two arms, two legs, basically like these six people that can police, that can be set in mostly every police force to police what's going on in there to make sure everything is right because they are supposed to be the law they're supposed to uphold the law and you can't have the people that's supposed to serve and protect twisting the law in their favor and not protecting and serving you because basically that little mantra to protect and serve that only means for them if you're going around terrorizing everybody else and taking lives of innocent people you know what I'm saying, on the daily and not being held responsible for it. Also, rest in peace to the EMT lady who housed they ran up in and killed her by a mistake and they're not being held accountable for that. So rest in peace to her and hopefully somebody will have to ask for that. They hopefully, you know what I'm saying, they family file a wrongful death suit and they can get something out of that because that's you're just taking people alive and you're taking families, people away from their families, and that's not right. You need to be held accountable for that. So I hope all that happens, but we'll see. We'll see. So last but not least, the police need to be policed. Some of them do, not all of them, because not all of them are saying, just the crooked ones. Weed out the crooked ones. Make sure you round them all up. Make sure you let them know. This ain't flying no more. You know what I'm saying? Even if you got to go all the way up to the top. So you already know what it is, man. I'm trying to see it from y'all point of view. And hopefully y'all trying to see it from mine, man. It's your boy, Dot. I'm gone. Peace.